Hello everyone, this is Recon Stewart, and welcome back to my series by Maple Flag Missions Basic Flight Training Qualifications. This is Mission 7, Aerobatics, and today we'll be performing a number of maneuvers like the Immelman, Split S, and Barrel Rolls. Um, decent at some, not so good at others, so we will uh, see how this goes. Let's get going. Close our cockpit here. Welcome, cadet. Get your bird in the air so we can start this PO. Left and right generator on. Battery on, inverter on. Signal light test. Lead air test. Fuel gauge. Uh, oxygen on. Oxygen indicator test. And let's turn our boost pumps on. And we're ready for APU to come on. Set our radio to Batumi. Turn on our AM radio. Turn on UHF. Turn on FM. Get my lights set up like I like. If anyone from Eagle Dynamics is watching, can you please switch the rotary knob? back to moving a little bit quicker with the mouse wheel this is just ridiculous it used to be very smooth and now it's terrible all right APU on let's turn our APU generator on let's turn our CDU and Iggy on make sure our lights are on and I think we are ready to call for Start up from ATC. Batumi, in field, one, one. Request startup. In field, one, one. Batumi, cleared for startup. Wind 285 at 6 meters per second. Left engine going on. While that's spooling up, we'll turn on our SAS system. Take off trim. Let's turn on our countermeasure system to standby. And then we will also turn on our kick U JTARs and IFSIC. Turn our right and left MFCDs, uncage standby attitude indicator. Start our bit test in the HUD. Reset our G meter. Go ahead and set up our TACAN station, 1-6 X-ray for Batumi, ILS is 110.30. Pull up, pull up. Go ahead and load all on the DTS upload altitude, page. Altitude, altitude. Go ahead and start the right engine. If sick to on, HUD to orange. It's easier for me to see in the sun glare. Alright, right MFCD to CDU. Check our Dismas page. We do not have any weapons. TAD, we'll get rid of our range rings. <clears throat> Go ahead and do another signal lamp test and a bleed air test. Check our fuel again. Then we'll do a monitor left test. Don't skip any checklist items, cadet. The bird has to be fully mission operational to pass this performance check. Check our flight controls. Speed brakes. All right. Okay. Net IDs one and one.
Just waiting on alignment now. Alright, we are aligned. Go ahead and hit the nav button. And Iggy. I'm going to turn on EAC and turn on radar altimeter. Turn off APU gen, turn off the APU. Go ahead and turn on nose wheel steering and request taxi to runway. Head to me in field one one. Taxi request right taxi on. to runway. Brakes check. Flap seven degrees. Speed brakes closed. In field one one. Back to me. Clear to taxi to runway three one. We'll go ahead and hold short of the runway and finish our checklist. Request takeoff. Head to me in field one one. Request takeoff. In field one one. Back to me. You are cleared for takeoff and ready. Climb three zero zero at QFE two nine decimal eight nine. All right, line up check. Flap seven degrees. Lights are on. APU off. Anti-skid on. Ejection seat armed. Keto heat on. All engines look normal. Brakes on. Ramp into 90%. Brakes off, full throttle. Those were steering off. Now I could probably roll back at 120 here, but I'd like to wait till 150 if I've got the runway. It makes it feel a lot more responsive on my controls here. And we are airborne. Gear up. Okay, cadet. Your performance check starts now. Caps are up. <clears throat> Rolling. Trim out this climb. If we can see our wingman down there. Oh, there it is. 
Fly heading 300, Angel 6 at 200 knots. Wingman is airborne. If anybody knows how to make the HUD a little bit easier to read during the day, I would love it if you would leave a comment. Tell the hard deck limit it. is in effect. Do not go below Angels 5 unless the restriction is terminated. Approaching Angel 6, level out and maintain 200 zero right zero two knots. Zero zero. Maintain Angel 6 at 200 zero zero knots. Good. Maintain 040, zero zero, Angel 6 at 200 zero zero knots. Alright, put a little air brake on here to get us down to 200. Zero zero. Aerobatics are an essential part of flying a combat aircraft. Once we enter the military operations area and complete the clearing turns to sanitize the environment, we will perform a G-Awareness test. The G-Awareness test is required for any maneuvers exceeding 4 Gs. I expect we'll be doing that today. You did practice your anti-G straining maneuver, right, cadet? We're getting close to the MOA, so we will find out soon. You are now entering the military operations area. Make a 90 degree left turn and scan the area above and behind your aircraft. Alright, left turn, maintaining 6,000 feet. Good. Watch for any aircraft in the vicinity and be prepared to abort your maneuvers if necessary. Now make a 90 degree right turn and scan the area above and behind your aircraft. Good. Watch for any aircraft in the vicinity and be prepared to abort your maneuvers if necessary. Let's get some altitude and speed. Fly heading 040, Angel 7 at 260 knots.
All right, here we go. Accelerating and gaining altitude. Fly heading 040, Angel 7 at 260 Good. knots. Maintain 040, Angel 7 at 260 knots. Now perform your G awareness test by making two 180 degree left turns pulling at least four Gs. You should end up back on the same heading and altitude as when you started. Begin when ready. All right, here we go. We're going to make a left hand 180 degree turn, which should end around 220 bearing. Trying to maintain 7,000 feet. There's 220. 7,000, and now let's make another 180 degree turn for the full 360, maintaining 7,000 feet, maintaining 4 G's, and return to bearing 040. Good enough. Our first aerobatic maneuver will be an Immelman. Don't forget to fire your smoke pods. You want it to look good for the cameras. Increase speed and begin when ready. Select my smoke pods. Interesting. Oh, I bet it's because master arm is not. There we go. All right. Here we go, Immelman. What I'm doing here is doing a half loop so that I am completely inverted. And once I am upside down, parallel with the ground, I'm going to do a quick roll out of it and hopefully be headed in bearing 220. And of course that maneuver takes away a lot of my speed, so if you're in a dogfight... Excellent! You performed that correctly. If you're in a dogfight, you're going to lose a lot of that energy that you need. However, a quick way to get it back is the split S. Our next aerobatic maneuver will be a split S. Begin when ready. Alright, so for this one, Good. we're going to invert and then pull towards the ground until we are heading 180 degrees in the other direction which in this case should be 040 excellent you performed that correctly get some altitude Our next aerobatic maneuver will be a loop. Begin when ready. Alright, so this one, just what it sounds like. We are going to pull straight up. Good. And make a full loop, keeping the wings level or parallel with the ground, if you will. Good. Excellent. You performed that correctly. All right.
Our next aerobatic maneuver will be a left barrel roll. Turn to heading 220 and begin when ready. 220. A barrel roll is a combination of a start a loop. Begin when ready. We then roll into the loop. Good. Into a corkscrew. Where we then come back down underneath where we started from. But then finishing in the same direction we started, 220. And hopefully that was it. Excellent. You performed that correctly. All right. Get some altitude. And next is the very difficult Our next one. aerobatic maneuver will be a cloverleaf. The cloverleaf maneuver combines the first half of a right barrel roll with the last half of a loop. You should finish 270 degrees east of your original heading. Only one leaf of the cloverleaf is required. Begin when ready. All right, so we're going to go up till we are vertical. We're going to roll 90 degrees, and then we are going to pull a loop. Good. You failed to perform that correctly. Ah! Whoa, Keith. You don't have to kill me. Now you get a chance to perform an aerobatic sequence. Pick any maneuvers you like. You have three minutes to execute them. Begin when ready. All right, let's try an Immelman here. We're going to go up. Good. And we're going to roll. Get back heading zero four zero. Let's try a split S. <laughs> and we'll try a loop here. Upsy daisy. If we've got time. Uh, 
Arrow roll. Good enough. He doesn't sound impressed with me. That completes the flight elements for this PO. The hard deck restriction is now terminated and you are authorized to exit the MOA. Head back to Batumi, land and perform your shutdown procedure. I'll give you your qualification rating then. All right, let's turn on TACAN. Did I mute you? Okay. Contact Batumi. Alright, we're at pattern altitude, headed 237, go ahead and set up our runway, Let's turn into Batumi. Uh, 
All right, we're a little bit above the glide slope, so we will bring it down just a touch. There we go. A little bit of speed break out so we can get down to 200 knots so we can deploy here. Guess not. Gear down. Flaps down. Enfield one one. Go around. Runway occupied. Altitude. Altitude. Well, which is it, pal? One one. Batumi. Check landing gear. Wind two eight five at six meters per second. Runway one three. Enfield one one. Cleared for visual. Contact tower. That is an occupied runway. Speed break. Speed break. What the heck are you doing, buddy? Woo! That was crazy. Gear and flaps back up. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Do a traffic pattern here like we did in basic light qualifications mission four. We get back up to pattern altitude. And we're probably a little fast for that approach anyway, so works uh, just as well.
turn back when we're eight miles out. There we go. Let's make a fairly steep turn here. Ooh, that was a little too steep. Try this again. Gear down. Flaps down. Altitude, and altitude. there's my wingman trying to get us killed, as he always does. One of my better landings, if I may say so. Air brakes out. Full wheel brakes on. Nose wheel steering on. Go ahead and turn our taxi light on. You can park near the tanker, cadet. Close our wheel or our um, speed brakes. And let's turn left onto this taxi road. Alright, let's stop here and get our after landing checklist completed. Flaps up. Anti-skid switch off. Ejection <clears throat> seat disarmed. Turn our countermeasure system off. And pedo heat off. We can change our lights back to taxi lights and here we go taxi back to the tanker
You have two minutes to complete your shutdown procedure. All right, taxi lights off, nozzle steering off, and by attitude caged, master arm off, gun pack off, laser off, TGP off, uh, kick you, JTARS, IFSIC, MFCDs, Iggy CDU. Go ahead and kill the left engine, kill the right engine, open the canopy. We will turn off our inverter and our battery, deploy the boarding ladder, turn off the oxygen, turn off TACAN, turn off ILS, turn off our radios. Turn off our boost pumps. And I think that is everything. I'll re or unmute those two. Thirty seconds, cadet. Let's see how we did. I'm a little nervous about this one. Little nervous. Let me confirm your shutdown procedure. Fingers crossed, everyone. We will end our flight here. You made it, cadet. You passed this PO. You received a qualified minus rating. Work on your maneuvers to improve your skills. It may save your life. Return to the Toomey for the next qualification mission. All right, everybody, we did it. The exception of that clover leaf, I think I've got my maneuvers down. I need to work on that one, obviously. But uh, thanks for watching. This is Recon Stewart, and we'll see you next time for basic flight qualification training, emergency procedures. Take care.